So with you being, like I said, in, with acting and directing, things like that, what are some top five movies for you? That, like, just it, it doesn't have to be in order, but just top five movies for Tanner. Whew, that's always a hard question because I go to the movies a lot. I know you I'm in all these different, I'm in the TV Academy, the SAG Film and I'm in Club. I'm in so many things. But first thing that comes to mind is Set It Off. Love the, the female empowerment of that movie. I loved how it made me feel. I loved seeing those young ladies in those roles and it, you know, catapulted all their careers. I loved, I love Boomerang. Ooh, um. Cool. I, I love seeing Robin Givens, <laughs> um, Halle Berry being a nerd and pretending she's not fine as hell. <laughs> I love, um, I love Zoolander, <laughs> and Zoolander is ridiculous. Is hilarious. Magnum and and Blue Steel, all that. I love that movie. I can watch it over and over and over again. I love Casino because I love Italian movies. I love. Italian gangster movies and, and if they make a black gangster movie like I love Harlem Nights but yeah. I love movies I think the reason that me as a woman I like seeing uh, the gangster movies because they treat their women with so much protection and providing which is what we're taught we should look for in a man and they nobody does it better than cowboys and gangsters they they provide for that woman they'll cheat on her they'll cheat on her with all the girls the harlots that work at the salon or whatever but they will protect her provide for her and give her this fun uh wild lifestyle while she's wearing all the fancy clothes and so casino ooh, that's my movie is that five yet no that's four let's but see i said if, if, if we second. if we include harlem nights then that's five Harlem Nights. Yeah, that's, that's a good five. I like that five. I like that five. And I didn't say coming to America. And you know why? Because I love that movie, but I don't like that he was willing to lose it all for that light-skinned girl <laughs> while the dark-skinned girl was looking like a hoe jacking him <laughs> off at the game. I didn't appreciate that. It's a good movie and it put a lot of people on, but I'm tired of it. Like, I grew up and everything I was watching was, even in freaking Boomerang, the light-skinned girl is the one that everybody goes crazy over. The mixed girl, everybody goes crazy. The dark-skinned girl is like, ah, get out of here. So... <laughs> I didn't. I love coming to America, but I didn't put it on my top five because of that. But you know what? I so I feel that you want to know one of the things that so I like. I make I like people joke with me all the time. They said that my, the music I make is woke, but before I was making that type of music, I was making just pretty much re regular, like you know what I'm saying, like what you hear on the radio type of music. One of the things that I used to subconsciously do, but then I was like, I'm gonna make a point to do it. So you know how like every rapper, like when you're rapping about a chick, they always rap about a chick, and they always say, "Oh, beautiful brown skin, light skin, this and that." I made it a sure, I made it a point that anytime that I referenced a woman, I make sure I either say brown skin or dark skin, like not light skin. And I did that on purpose because Thank of that. You. Because of that. And because I was like, that was one of the things that really like, yeah, I, I, I saw that as at a young age. And I was like, like, even when it came down to like people was asking, like, oh, what's your preference? Like, listen here, the people the what I grew up around was beautiful dark skinned women. I got nothing Amen. but love for them. And I, I got nothing but love for just like women just in general. But I was like, I don't like I didn't see I didn't see no flaw in the dark skin. The dark I I really li li uh lived and loved that darker the better sweeter the juice. Like Amen. I lived off of that. Like you know like even like we, even when I started getting tattoos on my uh, on my arm I got is a black woman. It's like a it's like an angel warrior woman because I said Oh I want to see take your shirt off. It was right here. It's right. It's, it's still not. Done. I don't even know if you can see it all, but it's supposed to be. It's a, I'll zoom in when we watch the replay. Yeah. Okay, but, I see wings. Yep. So it's like okay, like dope. Angel, because I said that I got so many strong black women in my life that like it represents everybody. It represents my mom. It represents you know like you know it represents my aunts. It represents my cousins. It represents all the strong black women that I knew. So like it's like nice. that, that's one of the things that I was like I I definitely understand. It's like you gotta. Thank you. Call it out. It was like my, my personal mission. <laughs> is your mom uh, chocolate? Yes, she is. I love when brothers appreciate their mom because it's like you have so many brothers and this could be a whole nother podcast. You have so many brothers who like, I don't date black women because of this or I don't date dark skin girls because I, my preference is this. And that's fine. You can have a preference. But sometimes I feel like it might be rooted in not really loving your mom or not really seeing beauty in your mom. And it's like maybe, you know, your mom, I don't know how you were raised that you don't see that this amazing woman brought you up, but you and CT love a sister and that's yeah. what i needed because well, i was growing up seeing the opposite and i was like man and if i like a guy and i'll start looking at this page and i see his kids are mixed i'm like oh he don't like me i, I can't flirt with him he don't he he don't <laughs> want my black ass <laughs> this is what, my theory about preference and i tell people all the time i was like your preference shouldn't be based off of physical representation right mm -hmm. so like i i have friends who date outside of their race and things like that but the one thing that 
when you ask him why he's dating this person, it's not because, well, you know, white women do this and white women does that. No, it's because he t- and he'll tell you, like, you know, yeah, me and her, you know, we hit it off. She loves mm-hmm. me. I do. She supports me. She makes me feel this and that, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and that's the case. And I tell people all the time, your preference, like, like you, if you say, oh, because, you know, white women do this. Like, no, that's not the case because there's black women who do the same. Exact exactly. Thing. But I, I make sure that. I suck a lot of dick for my man because I don't want him to ever say he needed to get a white girl. No, baby, I got you. I got you. That's the thing. And then I would like, I tell people, they're like, oh, you know, black women always do this. I'm like, look, there, there, there's ain't shit black women. There is ain't shit white women. There are Facts. dope ass black women. There are dope ass white women. Your preference should be based off of that relationship there because it's only when you have to put down somebody else to put you what you got, I mean, when it becomes an issue. Mm-hmm. And that's where the main issue is. It's like, yeah, most of the black guys who are dating white women, they're saying, oh, I'm dating white women because black women don't do this. So now you're putting down that race to lift this person up, not yeah. focusing on the love or whatever. Exactly. I remember being at Foxhole Radio and one of the comedians walked in and just blurted out that, you know, I don't date white women because I want I, mean, I don't date black women because I want to be able to, to take my girl on a trip and she can get her hair wet in the water. And I was like, first of all, sir, you're 4'11 and you have a pot belly. So if we're doing anything about physicalities, you might want to get it together, do some sit ups, maybe wear some heels. But you can't be making these demands about hair right. that is rooted in our you know, it's rooted in our history and our culture. And if, if it's not kinky, it's because we weren't, you know, we were raped. So if we want to go there, like, don't do that, sir, because you're, you're, you're not a 10. You're not a 10. And most of the brothers who are like that, they're not 10. So I'm sure I'm getting hate mail in the comments, but I'm just I'm just speaking how I feel. I get on my soapbox about that. That's something when you like in my music now where I'm at, like I do talk about that. I talk a lot about uh, intercolor racism. So like that whole light skin, dark skin. Because mm-hmm. that's that's bad, too. So they'll be in the comments talking about that. Well, she shouldn't be. But it's here. It exists. I mean, it's been pushed in our face for generations. Yep, I talk about I talk about all that now, like because it came to the point where when I did when I did my first solo album, that was the first album that people would send me messages like, "Yo, this is kind of like what you said, like what your what your story, like, hey, this is this is my story dealing with this racism or dealing with this or I like this or people telling me stories on how my music touched them." And I said, "I like that feeling. I was like, I like to be able to know that my music has touched somebody in a specific way." So I was like, "I'm only gonna make music that makes sense." Like, so the songs nice. that I recently put out, like, it's really talk- about pretty much like uh, me talking about my inner demons and things that I deal with, and so it's like it's just more personal. Uh, thing but it's like it's one of those things is like I feel like more people are scared to talk about like a lot of the things that they feel is taboo in the black community you know whether it is mm-hmm. like that the, 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 the light skin dark skin thing or you know like how black women are discriminated against the darker mm-hmm. you are like how that is and like it's one of those things that got swept under the rug so I love the fact that there's more people talking about it now Amen. Or bringing it up because it's like to me, that's that's dope. It's something that I've been fighting for for a long time. So yes, yes, yes. But not to get I off did the I did the book uh, Dark Girls. Oh. That, uh, Bill Bill Duke did a book called Dark Girls, and I was so happy that they were finally going to put our voices out there. Then when the book came out, I hated the pictures that they posted. Yeah. I was like, "You're not making Dark Girls look good at all." Like every pose they chose, ugh. And then he was like, "Now I got to do um, a book called Light Girls." And I said, "Well, damn it, then." Just do a book called Girls. If you do, if you still gonna give them their book. <laughs> and I know that mixed girls have their struggle too. I've heard from my mixed friends that they don't know which side they fit in on, and everybody tells them they think they're better than them and all that stuff. I get it, but I was just so happy he was doing a dark girls book because we have been looking at the light girls book our whole life. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, "Oh, I'm doing a light girls," and I'm just like, "I can't have nothing." <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. All right, 